Look who I have right here in her favourite place. This is where Georgie likes to play, don't you? You like to climb up on the bed? Let's have a look at your ears. Let's see what's happening with these beautiful ear piercings. Oh, wow. And Georgie's not had any problems with them at all. What did you say to mummy the other day? You wanted new ones in? Did you want to change them? I want, I want to, to, to take them out. You wanted to take them out? What? To fit, new ones to fit new ones in because you've got your mummy bought you two different ones when you were there, didn't she? Yeah. She bought you little rosies, sparkly ones, and you flowers and um, unicorns. And unicorns, so she did. All right, so what are we playing, Georgie? Witches. Witches. And I'm a panda. And you're Rapunzel, okay. So that's what we're doing today. So I guess I'm the witch. <laughs> and you're Rapunzel? Yeah. Okay. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair. Do you brown here? Was it brown here? Yeah. It's brown here. Okay, right. Got the hair colour wrong. Just as well her mummy's a hairdresser because we can sort out the hair colour. Talking of which, we are on day three. Curls are still there, still looking good that way, after the blow dry that Ruth gave me. What? Right, before I get into my witch's role, which really comes quite naturally to me. <laughs> good news this morning. My cousin Nasia has been moved to the cardiac wall. I think that's what it's called, but it's an improvement again. And I also got a wee message from her this morning. So that was really great news. Anyway, I have to I have to go and be a witch. <laughs> Bogey. Bogey? Yeah. Bogey. Okay. We have been out, Georgie and I, playing with Lily, giving Lily a good run around. Give Georgie a wee run around. Been on the trampoline, we've been out in the front. So lots of fun. Rico is now away to pick up the look. Georgie is chilling. George's away home doing some bits and pieces. Ruth should be finishing up work. We have the prep here for the barbecue. So we have skewers of kebabs here. We have the lovely pita breads that my auntie sends me. Rico stuffs some with halloumi and I'm gonna have some. I've not been eating cheese or anything like that because of my cholesterol, but today I am having that. I'm stuffing my pita bread with salad and halloumi and I am enjoying it. Look at this great big, is that a blackbird? Look at that, two magpies just appeared as well, but that was looking at that big bird there. Can you see the two magpies at the top of the roof? See that bird? You see it? Just there. Rico's also cut the grass today. See how he likes to strike the grass? So he's cut that today as well. Yeah, so while George is watching a programme that she's really quite engrossed in, I'm going to set the table and get everything ready to wash my berries. I eat so many berries now. I'm loving them. I have them in my porridge and then nibble at them. And I need to nibble something. I'm just going to wash them and have them ready in the fridge. I'm going to set my table. And that's it. Cheers, son. Cheers. Safe journey. Thank you. To Canada. Love to Canada. <laughs> Toronto. Some of my baby's going to Canada. Can I go outside? Yeah, you can go outside. Georgie wants to go outside. So, guys. Oh, you've got it on yourself. Where's your shoes? Where did you leave them? At the front, at the back door? Oh, there they're there. <laughs> so independent. The fogo is on. Look at this, look at the growth. I know. So here's my vine. It looks amazing. Let me show you my plants while the fogo's on. Pansies, all planted. Still need to put the gazebo up. All the pansies are in. There we go. More there. <laughs> Georgie and her dada having fun. Yeah. Put your hands up in there. Got some veg planted here and some in the little greenhouse right there. Good 
Good morning from the 8th of September. Rico has been building, painting. Did I see you painting the chairs? Yeah, the oh. most of just Oh, the these ones table. here? Okay. So he has gone over the chairs with some varnish, building the frame. So I need to get the cover and get it washed. But at the moment, I have other washing on. Hello! <laughs> yeah, I'm just about to have my porridge. Will I have it outside? Decisions. Here's all up. Thinking of doing a get ready with me, hence why I haven't got any makeup on. Lily's waiting with the ball. As usual. So that's what we're up to today. So Luke is on his flight as I'm speaking to you on his way to Canada. Can't remember what the last thing was that I vlogged yesterday, but you know, I was just enjoying the moment and yeah. Other good news is my cousin phoned me this morning from the hospital. She is hoping to get home tomorrow. That's not even been a week since she's had her operation. Or put it, her operation. She had her operation on Wednesday, and today's Sunday. So that's what she was saying to me today. She's hoping to get home. So the valves she had. Um, put in a heart was mechanical valves so you have the choice of human animal or mechanical and she's gone for mechanical valves so no doubt she will buzz every time she goes through the airport anyway that was good news good news that she can be bothered to make a phone call do you know that means she's on that road to recovery people and thinking about booking her holiday Anyway, I'm going to have my porridge. Also, it's Mother's Day in certain places. I think it's Mother's Day in Cyprus as well, because our Mother's Day, we've already done Mother's Day in the UK, because we like to be different everywhere else. Hi! Okay, we are organised. I'm going to sit and do a quick get ready with me and a wee chit chat. I have no idea what I'm going to chit chat about. But, um, yeah, I'm going to make the most of the sun today because it is beautiful, beautiful. Right, let me show you. Did I show you these? I picked up these shoes from Primark. Kind of like a nice everyday shoe. So, Kitten Hill. And I'm not sure about them, actually. I picked them up last week and I still haven't worn them. Here we go, I wonder if they'll last. Who was it that said in my on my Instagram you can compare them to the actual Manolos? Oh, it's a glass cases there as well. Anyway, thought I'd show you them. Oh, the sun, the sun just went away there. Did you see that? I'll put my light on anyway and um and get on with this. Get ready with me. Luke is flying to Canada. I can't believe it. It's flying to Canada. Right. I don't know where my phone is. Let me go and find my phone. Okay, we have done the get ready with me people. Just like that, we have done it. Okay, now I'm gonna film the intro to the get ready with me, which was really all over the place. So um, <laughs> then I'm gonna go and uh, enjoy some of the sunshine that has now disappeared. Actually, I'm gonna suggest to Rico we go and get some pots. I want to buy a pot for my vine a big pot so that i think that's what we'll do right here we go gazebo is done yeah back out all we need now is the sunshine and the sun has decided to go away now that i'm out to play i've hardly been in the garden this year Rico has totally taken over he's planted tomatoes as well which are in there and the kohlrabi and all that but uh, Sun, the sun. Jasmine is just starting to shoot through as well. There we go. I'm gonna stand right here because the sun. Oh, oh, it's lovely. Lily's found her place, haven't you, Lily? Uh, Rico's just told me that he painted the seat today. <laughs> I know, she's sitting on the trampoline. So, um, let's see. Oh, 
Are we okay? I think we're okay. Okay, we are back in here. Um, I just can't make up its mind today, the sunshine. Sunshine. Did I tell you Luke's in Canada? <laughs> He's landed in Canada, my son is in Canada. Luke Mario is in Canada. Do you know that way I just want to keep texting him? I'm not going to. Okay, um, what was I going to say? Okay, I have had a request from Ashley. Ashley is, ooh, I had a bottle of wine popping down. Says, Ashley is a client of Ruth's and they were talking about um, Ruth being christened. So when Ruth got married to George, she had to be christened to get married in our Greek Orthodox Church, which was totally Ruth's choice to do. Um, George was very much, um, it's totally up to Ruth if she wants to. And, you know whatever their choice was we would have gone along with obviously you know they're adults they do what they want to do so but anyway Ruth had watched Costa and Kelly get married and liked the whole service and decided she wanted to be married in our Greek Orthodox Church as well so she to do that because Ruth wasn't christened she had to be christened so she was christened in our Greek Orthodox Church so Ashley would like to see the footage of Ruth's christening. So I've got some footage on my phone. I think this was way before I was vlogging. Was I vlog? I don't think I was. I don't think I was doing. I can't remember. But anyway, but I have footage on my phone. I will also link in the description box um, George's christening because on that video I explain. The whole process of our christening so i'm not going to sit here and explain it all again i'd have to read up on it to do it and i can't be bothered but i i do remember explaining the whole meaning behind the different parts of our service um in georgie's christening so i'm going to put in now the footage of ruth uh, being christened and let me tell you I think I was as nervous as Ruth was that day I was really nervous for her I had never seen her yeah I'd seen one adult christening before and I find it quite emotional when an adult takes the choice to go through something like that and it's a really really big thing um, for an adult to do that and Ruth chose to do it and um, you'll see her she's wearing like a white gown type thing not gown as in ball gown but you know like a, a, that was that belongs to the church and so she went in wearing her her clothes and then she went and she changed into this and and this is how she was um, christened with this gown on and um, and then you'll see her she changes back to her clothes her godmother was my friend Gula Gula became her godmother so Ashton this one's for you Κρύεται η δούλη του Θεού, Ρουθ, έλεο να αγκαλιάσεις σαν να και του Ιού και του Ιού και του Σαμήν. Δεσέραβα τον ευκό Ρουθ, εις ανόητε να κουηθώ, εις δε κλάτνες, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Ίσως μην ευωδία στο sweet fragrance. Ίσως ακοήν πίστεως to hear the words of faith.
Për së tëmë la jeshë Sofia në marë marë, marë marë, shalë shpikë u ishë domë. I si jeshë në qikishë ke shomë atosh. Por kërëllin o shodhë në bodi, të përreve se të dhërim ata që të uok i në gjorë fëtë shtepshë. Tu patin e panë ofën kë shkorpion, kë pasë atë dhidhemi të ekthruv, të shtep ofër e serpents, anë shkorpion anë olë the power of the enemy. E kire shufi i sami kje e plasami, jërë kad medhmi anë fashion mi. O është të stelje për shumë e ti, apo në shasë të jafton kja ratë shtë të vronë aftu i kja kolusito mi. Për shu ever, ku ishe shtë të kam after me, le të kim dinaj, kim se, të antej kaf, kish krosh and follow me. The servant of God, Ruth, is baptized in the name of the Father. Who should I see? And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. The servant of God wrote in his tongue to the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. 
editing the vlog that you are now watching so that was Ruth's christening our Ruth's christening so it was a big decision for Ruth to take and we were all very very proud of her but as I was editing that footage I thought I would give you a bit of a background of what happened that day so my friend Gola arrived um, at the church and as I arrived she was in a great big panic and she said to me Andre Andre, does Ruth know that they're going to immerse her right in? That the priest is going to put her right into the font? And I'm like, no, I don't know. We ha I haven't said anything. So, so um, basically, um, I, at that point, I thought, do I tell Ruth? Do I not tell Ruth? So I went over to Ruth's sister, who Ruth is very, very close to, Emma. And I said to Emma, look, it looks like Ruth is going to be immersed right in the font. What do we do? Do we, Shall I tell her? Do you want to tell her? And Emma said to me, don't say anything. If you say anything to Ruth now, she'll overthink it. If you, so just let her get on with it and she'll be absolutely fine. So I said to Emma, this is on you. <laughs> but I was so, because I knew that, I was really nervous but as you can see the priest was absolutely amazing with her the priest has daughters so he was very careful when he was pouring the water over you know over Ruth you know in some cases I mean they they put them right in and because that's I mean with babies they're right in and out in and out and in and out and, you're and you'll probably will see that if you go on to watch Georgie's christening which like I said I will link um down in my description box but yeah so also Ruth and George before the christening had to have lessons so they were you know they were taking lessons before Ruth could even be christened and I don't know if you saw back in the footage you'll see one of the chanters and um, he is actually now our priest and he is the priest that will be um, christening Anna as well so Anna's christening is a bit of you know it's short notice you know Anna didn't get christened as a baby because of COVID and then one thing or another and then you know so we could all be here so we've actually literally got like two weeks to sort out um, 
and his christening but it's just it's not about having a party and inviting the whole wide world to Anna's christening is literally about right let's get Anna christened because she's now three years old and we really don't want to leave it any longer I have no idea what Anna's christening <laughs> is going to be like because obviously you know you have more control over a baby than you do over a three-year-old but we've explained to Anna and <laughs> Anna thinks it's a princess stage so it's going to be all about her and she's going to be a princess and we're also going to put Anna in a bathing costume you're usually children babies obviously are christened in their birthday suit <laughs> you know Anna's just a wee bit kind of at that in between age so we've checked with our priest and he says it's absolutely fine to have her christened in a bathing suit but anyway I, I will film that so that was Ruth's christening so yeah it was honestly like I said at the beginning there I was as nervous as Ruth I was really nervous for Ruth that day and really proud of her for doing it just in case anybody's wondering Kelly didn't need to get christened when she um, um, got married in our church because uh, Kelly was christened as a Catholic as a baby or I, don't, I think she was a baby when she was christened was she? I don't know so so hence Kelly was already christened so she didn't need to be christened um, when uh, she got married in the Greek Orthodox Church <sighs> So yeah, that was Ruth's christening. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to see the background and what everything means in our christenings, Georgie's christening will be linked below. So thank you very much for watching. And if you would like to see more videos from me, I'm going to link one here, here. And if you're not already subscribed, just press the A right here. And I'll see you next time. By the way, don't forget those thumbs up. It helps my channel. Bye.